Our time has come. Our moment of glory. To save Princess Zelda and to save the world. Hello, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, Werewolf Nate here. In this episode, we are going to beat this game. And now, before we can start anything, this place is still blocked off, so we're going to actually have to sneak through again. Hopefully I don't do as bad as I did last time, because, you know, I do that. Whoa. Oh, good thing he turns the other way, I forgot. Yeah, they may be short-sighted, but they're not too short-sighted, if you catch my drift. And you know what, you've already seen this before, so I don't need to do show you again. Alright. And now we know the drill. I can't believe it, guys. I'm actually this close. This is the end of the game. I am not joking. Get over here. Get... Show off our... Oh, you jerk. As you can see, the Great Smith attack does not make you invulnerable. If an enemy attacks you while your blade is on the opposite end, it will still hurt you. But so, I mean, this is quite exciting for me, honestly. I mean, you know, I cleaned up my, I think I might have just cleaned my room up just for this special occasion here. And so, we've done this three times already. So, ambient. This may be the last time we hear it. Yeah, yeah, door, we know. You're shutting down, blah, blah, blah. And so, for the final time. We placed our sword in the altar. There goes the arrow limit, guys. Say your prayers, Vetti. The power to save Hyrule, Zelda, and kick your butt is now ours. The Bakori Blade has become... The power of the wind element has infused your blade. With the power of the four elements, your blade has become the four sword. Huh. Now I can fire a beam just by holding a spin attack, which now charges faster. Aha! Uh -huh. It seems to be shooting a beam. I didn't do that. Um, the game does that automatically. This opens a way you haven't been able to go. <laughs> it seems that fortunately the sacred blade somehow opened the doorway. It must lead to the room that holds a secret light force. We must go inside. So yeah, we have the four sword. It is golden. I, this really proves that there is a link between this game and the Minish Cap. What's this? This looks familiar. Let's read it. Hmm. How interesting. Look at the images on the stained glass. I bet those pictures show us where the light force is hidden. A long, long time ago. When the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. The tiny Picori appeared from the sky bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. With wisdom and courage the hero drove out the darkness. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade with care. And the force of the golden light embodied in Hyrule's princess shone forth upon the lands. <laughs> so that's what it means. Ah, su surprise king! <laughs> As low, you really are too kind. First you give me my magic cap. Then you guide me here. <laughs> You've been far too generous, but now I no longer have any use for you. <sighs> Spoiler! Vati was the king all along! Alright, come on, fight, fight up! Aww. <laughs> At last, I finally know the location of the Light Force. No! You know what this means? Nate! Wake up! Can't you wake up, Nate? Vati disguised himself as the king to search for the Light Force. When he learned of this place, he waited for us to reforce the blade. If that stained glass is accurate, Princess Zelda holds the Light Force. Vati will do whatever it takes to steal that power from her. If he succeeds, we may never be able to return the princess to normal. 
We've wasted too much time, Nate. We must stop Vati. We must hurry. Zelda is in danger. Vati had no reason to harm Zelda until this point, but now that he kn he knows what she can do... Oh, God. This is not good. Quick, charge up your blade. Faster split gauge. Go now. I love the, ep the um, tense music's going on here. Let's go. <gasps> What's this? This was green. What's up with this music? <gasps> People have been turned to stone. What? What is this? What's happened here? They've been turned to stone. Didn't I just say that? All of them. The minister and all the guards. Everyone in the castle dislike Princess Zelda. This could only be the work of that evil Vati. What cruelty, Nate. We must use the power of the sacred force sword to undo this evil. So yes, using the power of the force sword, which is very simple, hold a spin attack and unleash it upon and it will shoot a re beam that'll turn people to back to life. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. You're the one who's returned me to normal, aren't you? I don't know how you did it, but you c I can't thank you enough. Listen, have you seen how strange the king has been lately? That's because it's not the king at all, it's Vati. He's taken over the castle. One by one, he's turned us all to stone, everyone cursed by his evil magic. Then the monsters arrived, even paralyzed, I saw it all. I only pray it's not too late to undo his evil. Me too, man. Me too. This is this is not good. Alright, Minister, what does you have to say? Nate, we need your help. Fatul took our petrified princess to the roof of the castle. He must be planning something fiendish. You must stop him. Oh, trust me, I will. Alright. Alright, got out of the way. What do you have to say? The real King of Hyrule must be locked up somewhere in the castle. Please find him. As soon as we've recovered, we'll start looking too. Yeah, we all know you're, what you're really gonna do. You're gonna stand here and do nothing and let the hero... This... This wasn't like that a few seconds ago. Is this really Hyrule Castle? I can't believe what's happened here. Vathy's magic has grown more powerful than I'd imagined. But the King and Zelda are in danger, Nate. Let's go! Yes, this is not good. The castle has been transformed into Dark Hyrule Castle, twisted by Vati's dark designs. So which one to go first? This is not a tough-to-navigate dungeon. It's a tough-to-handle dungeon because there are some tough puzzles and there are some annoying enemies like, um, fire sticks. What is this, Mario Brothers? Fire sticks, really? Ah, oh, whatever. Just simple. If you played a Mario game... This is the same thing, except, you know, top down. Remember that hole? We're going to be using that in a few seconds. There's... If I didn't mention it, there was a, um... There's a key passage over there. And don't worry, this is a fake. See? Don't need to take that staircase. What you need to do first is just bomb this passage to the right. Love those remote bombs, man. And see, there's a minish portal. And you're probably wondering, where on earth are we supposed to go as a minish? Well, I could have shown you as, um, as adult, but that, as a full-sized person, but, um, that would have just wasted your time, and I'm on a, I'm planning on this being a long episode anyway, so I don't want to waste too much of your time. Just avoid the fairy, and, um, you'll see the reason why I shrunk down is that there is a, there is a, um, well, passage right there. And the main reason we want to go through that passage is, um, there's a minish portal right there. But also another reason would be, look what it is, it's the king! We need to get something from the king! Move faster. Although I, have to, I really have to admit, Link must be really booking it. When you think about his size, like half of this screen is about the length of two football fields, you know, in a form of miss minish, so he's, he really has to be going fast. They say that, um, there's a there's a kind of bug called a tiger beetle that um go can walk at a total of five miles an hour and apparently if it was full size it'd run as fast as a race car. But enough about science. You didn't watch video play video games for science. We must turn the king to return normal. Oh, you don't talk to us? Oh, Nate, are you the one who broke the curse and returned me to normal? You've grown quite brave since I last saw you, I must say. But oh, how this castle has suffered while I was under Vati's curse. Is this all work of one man? As King of Hyrule, I must do something about this villain. 
Oh, but I'm old. And I would only hold you back. Nate, you have the sacred blade. Now, we must rely on you. Please, you must find a way to rescue my Zelda. Take this key. You can use it to get out of the castle from the basement. You got the small key. Use it to open locked doors and blocks and stuff. And so now that we have this key, there's one door that is not a booby trap. And the staircase is right up here, just to let you guys know. So yeah, saying about like th this being a hard hard dungeon or castle even, the only reason it would, could be considered hard is that, um... Like I said, the enemies are tough. You'll be... You know those Dark Knight enemies? Yeah, we'll be facing tons of those, so... Yeah, if you like those enemies, congratulations. Whoa. Ah, that was not fair. Ow, stop it. Finally, that's not the locked door you want. The old locked door you want is down here. The other one is just a booby trap. Yeah, you're gonna get all kinds of things. You got skull chillas, give does, whiz robes, dark nuts. The works. So talking again about how this is a um a link to um um four swords. That that link has become even more obvious than it was before. You may not have noticed it, but, um, the four sword is actually significantly more powerful than our previous sword. Just to inform you. So, yeah, we got the map, and also, if you look down there, you'll see, um, some pots. If you went straight down after just exiting the sacred grove, that, that, two of those pots contain fairies, which are useful. Your health will get drained pretty quick in this dungeon. And as you can see here, this is the main area of the game. I may not have mentioned it yet, but a lot of this dun a lot of this castle is modeled after the one in um uh, a link to the past, but not always like those two cages in the dungeon. Oh, and you're probably wondering why I'm leaving. You can now leave and enter the castle at any time with no worries. The main reason I want to do this is that now that we've fused all four elements, there are a few more things we can do. What two of which w you know both of these actions will get us two heart containers, and you're like Nathan, how are you gonna get five? Five more heart pieces in one episode. Well, not to fear. I only have to get two things. But first, I need to get some kinstones. Because I need to show you it. Because it's really awesome. Alright, here we are in Trilby Highlands. You remember this grant section? You may not have noticed. Because I didn't, might not have shown them all. But we are all out of greens again. So you know what that means, right? But you know what we have one advantage over last time we do this? We have the great spin attack. Which will be serve us greatly here. So, just drink it up, power up your spin attack, and... And the best part about this is it doesn't disrupt your spin attack every time you get that scene. And this is very satisfying. Yes! This is very satisfying, especially when you're just demolishing everything. I mean, look at all these. It's incredible. Okay, now it wore off. Back to business. And returning here into Hyrule Town, there was one heart piece we couldn't have gotten without fusing all four elements. And I may have shown this earlier in the Let's Play, but this is the schoolyard. Um, I'm not going to talk to everyone here because I am a bit on, on a rush here, but, you know, that's one of the things about this game is that you learn, you, get, you learn some things yourself. You know, just looking them up, you know, that's part of the fun of the game. Looking through it, exploring it on your own. And so what you want to do is shrink down here. And go out into the schoolyard. Because out there you will find a little flower patch. Which will lead us to another heart piece. Oh. And a boomerang beetle. No match for me. And so you can see here there's also a... You're just holding another kinstone piece. Great color we don't need anymore and see these blocks you need a total of four people to push and tons of little goodies that I probably don't need but I'm gonna get anyway <coughs> I am sorry lots of kinds of mysterious sounds but now we got a piece of heart and now we got another heart container we're actually gonna get another one just from one more action and I'm gonna go ahead there right now So here we are again in the Minish Woods. There's just one more thing we can actually do in the Minish Village. Is, um... 
There, remember that one place I got like my first or second art piece? Well, there's something more to that area with the water. I, I, I always hate this. Listen to this. Leave through that door here. It'll take you out of the forest quickly. See, they didn't give him anything else to say after you got the Koi Blade. That seems so non-Nintendo to add like... Because they usually love to add little quicks like that. It's like, whoa, you finally did it. You got the Koi Blade. But no, no, nothing. It's It makes this feel static and old, like I'm walking through a dirty biscuit. Or a stale biscuit. Why am I saying walking through a biscuit? That doesn't even make any sense. And I'm not saying biscuit because I'm Southern. I just... First thing that popped in my head was a stale biscuit. And so now, thanks to we fused all elements, we can actually fuse kinstones with this minish. And the thing is, is that he's going to want several greens. And you can actually fuse with this guy multiple times. The one we're going to aim for specifically today... It's not this one. We're not getting that. I'm not going to get all the goldens. That was silly. And so just exit the house, go back in. And now, you can fuse Kinstone with him again. Well, maybe I was wrong. He doesn't want all greens. I guess I lied. Well, ain't I a rotten, stinking liar? Not going to that. That might contain a heart piece, but... With all the other heart pieces that I have to get, the ones that are hard, there's the Cuckoo Mini game. There's probably one more random one that might lead like that, but, um... And then there's the figurine game, which I found out you can't do unless you beat the game. Uh, I'm not doing that. I changed my mind. I, like I said how I'm insane in the membrane, insane in the brain? Well, I'm not insane in the bra membrane enough to go through 136 figurines, putting a monumental amount of shells into it to get the final product. Just for a single heart piece. No, sir. Now, this is the one we want. And so, excuse me, well, I get big again so I can go warp to that area and get that. And so over here, this one place that you can't access any other part of Lake Hylia except this part, there's now a crack in that little hole. And this is where we're going to get another heart container. Like, you still wondering how on earth we're going to get one heart container with one action? Well, just wait a second. And there's another rolling pin of doom. They try to make it harder is that, you know, this... But if you got the rocks cape, which you should have at this time, you don't even need to use the holes. See? How easy was that? And now we'll be up here, that little house that we couldn't get to any other way. And here we will find Librari. Oi! Hey, you found me, kid. You're a real humdinger. So since you found me, I'm gonna give you my number one treasure. So keep up the good work. And so you got a heart container. This is not a heart piece, this is a heart container. This will immediately increase our life energy by one heart. And see, now all we have left is that one which I'm not going to get because it's too dang hard and too dang random and too dang several other things. And you don't actually have to go back through it through here. What I like to do is just drop down. If you... Come on, don't make me lie out of me, game. I, I don't like to be made a liar with. You can simply just jump down and go to this, um... This... This portal right here. And with that, we are going to go back into the castle and beat this game. And so entering the ca Dark Hyrule Castle again. I do have to admit, I love this music right here. It's got like the, the organ type thing. It's kind of maintaining the evil factor for him in like a no great enough time and the like. One thing I like about that is that you may be able to deflect their... They may deflect your attacks, but your laser kills them. And so I believe we want to go to the left first. Here we will find... Uh, forget those Riz robes. Here we will find uh, one of the new puzzle mechanics is... Killing cannons. This is going to be one of two times you're going to have to kill cannons. Those those cannonballs will hurt you, by the way. And so you need to kill them all at once. And how are we going to do that? Simply wait, get all the pads going, and then wait for them to wait for them to go. It'll immediately do a spin attack, blocking them all and on the and unlocking the way. Oh boy, floor masters. Yeah, there are floor masters and see and full and wall masters. I believe these are wall masters. You're not returning me to the beginning of the dungeon. Ha <laughs> ha! Pots of doom. So moving to the right here, we will find a puzzle that, if you've ever played, I believe either Oracle of Ages or Seasons, you will recognize one of these puzzles. What you need to do is you have to walk a path that turns all of these tiles red. This one's really easy, and I'm actually kind of 
been trained. I've tried to train myself to do these kind of tiles. And see? Bingo, I did it. Probably it's not in your best interest to waste time killing all these enemies. Because that just wastes down your your energy even more. If you feel like it, go ahead, but I'm on a timer, like I said. Oh boy, you remember this puzzle type of puzzle, right? Remember how annoying that was before? Well, you don't even know the word half of it, buddy. Just wait for it to pass, I guess. Well, so much of that. Alright. Yeah, go, go for it, go for it, just go for it. Yeah! And with that, we get a small key, of course. And now this is the way we would have gone to the right. We would have, we would have reached a dead end. But now we got a key, and you're probably wondering, Oh, where do we have to use this key? Well, I'll tell you if you just shut up. If we just go to the right here, you will see a, um, a locked door. Take it, and we'll go into the second floor. This is actually where we were a little bit Oh, no, wait, this is the basement again. Directions, what are they? <laughs> so, yeah, this is really exciting. This is, this is, this is gonna be the first Let's Play I've ever completed. I mean, this is monumental. I mean, it's, it's, wow, I mean, I'm, I, I, just, wow, and, but, wow, I, it's just, wow, and, wow, and, skeletons coming out of the ground somehow. I'm kind of, you know, now that I, I really have to start considering, um, what I'm gonna do after this game. I mean, I'm gonna definitely take some time and do some other stuff. Oh, and by the way, there's this canning puzzle, where all you need to do is just, Oh, so, so much for that plan. What you have to do is, this is another similar puzzle, is that where you have to figure out the proper arrangement. What I like to do to do this, is to pull out a great spin attack, and that pulls them off in a straight line, just go back and forth, and that'll knock them all back, and you'll be good. You'll be golden. And another great use for your great spin attack right here. Look at all the fox carnage. Now what's this? It looks like an empty room. But don't you remember? Listen to this. You hear that? You know what that means, right? It's Splodes Day. And that way we access another area, which it, we actually saw the Minish Portal earlier. Fireworms, avoid them. Might be called Mordorms, but I don't care. Ah, Spike Traps. We haven't seen you since the Cave of Flames. And now we have a throne room here, and oh my goodness! <laughs> Just one Dark Nut. Watch this. Your great spin attack comes in great handy here. They may be able to block a lot of your attacks, but usually you'll get it like a few hits off, and three hits with the sp great spin attack is just plenty to kill them. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, my allergies are terrible. This happens every spring, and I hate it. Also, one thing I hate about it is bees. I don't like bees either. And so, as you can see, well, if I can push it the right way, if you push this throne, it'll show a secret passage downstairs. And like all downstairs, it's covered in cracked floors, bats, and gibdos. What? Your basement's like that? I, th I thought for certain. So yeah, don't waste your time here. We all know gibdos, and we don't need to spend extra time with them. Don't go all out killing the enemies. If you feel like it, like I do sometimes, I will, but... And as you can assume, there's no special things to get. This is just beating the game. I think we're, fa we're facing every color of the rainbow aside from, um, choo-choos. I don't think we see any choo-choos here. And just, you know, nice little refill there. There's, a t there's gonna be a room that is filled with those. And that'll be great. And as you see here, we're now sailing across skies somehow. I don't ex it's a, This castle defies the laws of physics. I'm not sure if those cannons can actually hit you, but it would certainly seem that way. So just head over in this direction. It's very linear, especially if you know where you're going. There was one part where I got confused, but that's because I thought the puzzle needed to be solved in another angle. Oh, this one. This one is hard. This one was hard if you didn't know what you were doing. The way to handle this one is... To wait for the fire stick, I'm not sure what it's called, but fire stick works fine for me. Is to just wait for it to pass us through. Quickly go down, 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 hurry, 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 and wait, and then push it down. All right. 
Continuing back on the outside. I hate those foxes. Especially, I think they knock out like 50 rupees if they kill you. Or they hit you, I mean, not kill you. And so the path you want to take here is that you could land on where the cannons are, but that does absolutely nothing. So don't pay attention to that. So yeah, it's starting to really make sense, this link to the to the four swords and um, the minish cap, because not only are all the sprites for the, all the four colors in this game, but you split into four. It's just, they're more like in tangent um, ghost type things. And so just, just follow the... Um, the war the um path I had there and so if we can't go anywhere in here this place is completely blocked off and there's nothing here but arrows and fire wish rubs that can't hurt you either ha <laughs> ha so just continue on to the left more foxes more stop that there we go and my laser being activated the switch you see there you have to activate that switch with some kind of projectile I had to use a bow and arrow because I wasn't doing this well last time. And over here, there's just a little little recharge area here. So, moving on. 30 minutes already, goodness. And in this pathway, you see, this is very simple and easy. Just... No, man, I fit. Can't be messing things up in this. This is already going on very long, and I like it like that. So simply just match the pattern of the switches, and you're golden. Aru, pound cake. I bet you're wondering why I've been saying Aru, pound cake. Well, that's very simple. It's mostly because um, a friend of mine said it once, and um. And by the way, um. For these fallen chain guys, don't bother this great spin attack. It's not at, at all effective on them. So just use the bomb trick like we did in the air palace of winds. Or I am annihilating them and partially me. I'm getting that. You never know when I'm gonna have to go restock on potions somehow. So yeah, just avoid them when they do that. And now, not only did the red portal appear before the blue one, there's the boss door. We're that close, guys. We're that close. And I believe to the left, we can't really do that much. I think we can go up here. And this just leads us to a place we can't go right now, so... Ignore it! But these, um, these areas where the doors close down, those will be important a little bit later. But where, you, what you, where you want to go right now is to go up to the left and then up. And you'll find this interesting little area, which we'll have to use our gush jar. I swear, everything except for the, um, the moments, essentially. So what you want to do... Well, not do that. Ah, you get bombs from the bombs. So what you want to do is here is just use your gush jar to blast open a hole in that. Because you can't lay bombs on that platform. You probably could in some other more physics-based 3D Zelda games, but not in this one. Oh, I forgot to mention, to unlock the door, you gotta go up here. And I believe we're gonna have to use, um, let's try that. That'll do. Right there. And now, let's continue forward. I kinda wonder what I'm, I, I should do next. Um, I mean, my dad's had a suggestion, but... I'm kind of wondering, because, um, it'll be an interesting thing to do, and, uh, let me see here. Oh, another one of these rooms. There's going to be totally total of the four of the rooms like this. Oh, this room. This room is very nice. I call this the recharge room, especially you have the magic boomerang. In fact, I'm, I I had a bottle of Picolite. Time to fill it back up. Come back here. Got a fairy in your bottle. All right. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. How oh, heck do I care? I'm beating this game! It's awesome! And up here we'll find, um, what's this? A standoff with a black dark nut. Or dark dark nut, I think. But like him, he's not... He's no match for our cheap great spin attack. Four hits killed him. 
And this, my friends, activates a little special bit we have here, is that now each of these rooms that we just passed through will now have a Dark Nut in it. Which we will have to fight to access those big doors. And with access to the compass and the big map, I didn't even mention I got the compass, goodness. It's a pretty big one, as you can see, pretty complex. And um, if you can see up here in the tower, there are each have four four treasure chests, and you're probably wondering where those go to. They go to this, a big massive cube thing that contains, what, I wonder what the big chest contains. I mean, seriously, I wonder. I dare you to guess what it is. I honestly dare you. So yes, we must get all four keys to unlock this block. So let's get right to it. Did I pass one? No, I didn't. I'm silly. I'm a silly. I'm a silly guy. And yeah, the best thing about this is that this place recharges. It's just insane, man. Makes it almost too easy. And they will get a few hits off of you. Like, like that. Whoa, glitch. You see how effective this is? You see why I told you you needed to get this? Because it kicks butt! And this is going to be really important in the f in near the final end thing, because you need to defeat three Dark Nuts in a hurry. And now, um, if you once you defeat them, there's a big door here. And each one of these big doors contains some form of challenge. This one is a torch challenge, which we all know I have trouble with torch challenges, don't we? So what you need to do is just do this quick enough and avoid the fire stick, because that'll make you slow down. And don't mess around, these things don't last long. Lucky for you, I practice enough to get that in the first try. I'm doing pretty good. I'm getting things on the first try. I didn't on the fir first time. And here's suddenly ghosties. So it's Scoob. And I don't know. You don't have to kill them all, I guess. I don't... Maybe there's a hive mind? I don't know. I don't think about that kind of stuff. Okay, maybe I do. But not all the time. So here we got another small key. One down, four more to go. Or three more to go. Do basic math, Nathan. You're a pre-calculus, for God's sakes. And so just head on back, and we'll... Rinse, lather, repeat. Oh, wait, I remember now what's down there. I just looked. Not exactly easy to get turned around, but still, like I said, it can drain your hearts. I'm just super practice now. Ooh. Oh, well. An ultimate nuisance, but an ultimate gift. Ah, uh, bubbles. And now in here, we face a red one. I think this is the easier one. Oh, that's a move we haven't seen. I don't know what, I don't know what to call that attack. Ha. <laughs> am, I, am I right or what? That great spin attack owns... It owns, man. It owns. And also be careful. There are... Well, there are floor masters. Or, are they ceiling masters? Would they technically be floor masters if they, are, they fall from the ceiling? But they land on the floor. Why am I doing this? Why am I thinking such things? And so in this one, you're going to need to pull out your bow and be ready on that arrow. I'm doing awesome! This is great! Also, that joy butterfly that we got to increase our bow speed didn't hurt at all, either. And up here, we will find... We will have to, no choice but to go down here. But not to fear. If you simply avoid the Gibdos. And return up here, we are now on the other end. Open that. Access an outside area, which I don't think is useful right now. And don't forget to come up here to get your key. We're unlocking all the mysteries. Hold in there, Zelda. We have only two more keys to go, and then we'll save you. Because that's how saving works. You gotta find all the keys. I gotta, again, I gotta say that this is the most effective security system ever. Putting the keys to the doors outside of the door. I mean, they're not hidden. They're hidden in chests. Chests! Chests? Un unlocked chests scream, Hey, open me. I got stuff that... You want, you know? Hey, I'm a chest. Open me. 
Now what I do believe we have now is the ones down here. Time side, I, time aside, I think I'm doing pretty good. I may just, you know what, I think I'm gonna reserve the um, final battle for another episode. Oh. Too easy. So I'm not talking, but um, we're getting in the moment. I mean, what's left to be said? I, I'm beating this game. I'm beating this game in front of thousands of people, which out of out of those thousands of people, only a few of you will actually watch. Maybe one to three. I don't know. Let's find out. And so this is not hard for me, at least. I saw some, I saw let's players like Angry Pacho have some trouble with this. But if you just kind of realize you're gonna have to go back through a line, it's not that hard. Very simple one. Just another one with Geist, I believe, as these are called. Or Gini. I, I think they're called Gini. Such weird names for Zelda characters. I, I What can I say now? I love the spin, Great Spin Attack. It's great. That's why it's called the Great Spin Attack. And the best part about the Great Spin Attack, it does not make you dizzy like the other Spin Attacks in other games. Like in Four Swords Adventures. And so up here we have key number three. We're breezing through this, man. It's not long at all. I guess now that we're near the end, I can tell you that, um, I've beaten the boss 12 times. At least that was my last count. And you're probably wondering what kind of situation that, um, that would come from. And also, supply room for bombs and arrows, not that we need them. Um, the situation that I actually beat this game and got almost everything my first time was that I was super bored. I went over to Seattle one day, one week, you know, for a week or two, and I brought a Game Boy SP, and this was the only game I had, and, um, on times they didn't, they wouldn't let me watch, let me watch TV and stuff, and they were just doing nothing. I just played this game, and then eventually I was just got so in tune with it I could beat the boss like nothing. I doubt that's what's gonna happen here, but it's fun to dream, right? Oh, only one. Oh, come on, give me a challenge, sir. Well, I never said they wouldn't get to cheap shot off them. As you can see, they will. They, the, th the best part about this attack, it is super powerful. They can block it. They can block the attack. But you're, you're attacking so much that it'll eventually get around their shield. And this would actually be a hard puzzle, is that you have to get all four and do a spin, a spin attack or attack these all switches. But I found a much simpler way to do this. Just pull off a spin attack. And eventually... That's how I did it last time. Hold on. You can do it, I'm certain. See? Great Spin Attack unlocks all doors. And this'll do... Oh, we need that, yeah. And please don't get hit by these whiz robes. They will make you burn. And here we have... The Great Key Number 3. There's nothing of value downstairs. I think that's just... The stairs are there just in case they knock you over. I think. I think that's what it'd be about. I, I don't know. But yep, this is it. We got all four keys. We're going to beat this game. This is this is straightforward, especially if you know what you're doing and where you're going. Well, there I go saying I don't know where I'm going. Well, I remember now. Man, my sword has been doing so much of the talking, I haven't needed to switch over yet. Oh, but trust me, dude, you will need to switch over. I do believe this is the way to go. So it is. Just a little stock up here. <laughs> and up here now we have... We can unlock all four of these blocks. And now... All four links working together will solve this puzzle. And we'll be that much closer to beating this game. Saving Hyrule. Returning Zelda from stone. And killing Vachi for being so fruity. And also a graphical glitch there. Fruity purple sorcerer. I mean, purple! If you ever notice, like, when they need to show, like, evil energy, they make it purple. Why is that? Why do they make 
purples. I mean, it's like, they want it to be light, but darkness at the same time, so they find like a middle ground, like purple. I don't, I don't get it, but. I'm just small talking now, let's, let's do this. This is it. There's no turning back. Ah. Beyond these doors. Beyond these doors lies the end of the game. Beyond this door lies Vati. Beyond this door lies Zelda. Beyond this door lies a long, long journey coming to its end. Return in the next time for when we beat Fatty. Goodbye. <laughs>